Today, we're counting down to the First Ladies of Gospel, the Clark Sisters Lifetime movie. And we're checking in with our good friend, Christina Bell, who will be portraying the role of Twinkie Clark. Check it out. It's up next. <laughs> Inspirations with Carmina, and here we are on the eve of the First Ladies of Gospel, y'all. I'm so proud of this young lady, and I've had the opportunity to say it to her countless times, and anybody who knows me knows I love Christina Bell. <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you and I just watched as God began to open door after door for you and then along came this movie and I'm just I see you on different outlets and I'm just like oh God I'm so proud of her because I know how in the beginning how hard you worked you were passionate about producing great music and blessing the people and look how it's paid off for you I just I mean can you even yes. put it into words it was because I moved to Dallas <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> no, I I definitely um you know for some sometimes I get for words um it's it's amazing you know I've definitely never been in this type of position before but um I knew God would do some great things for me but now I get the opportunity to say I'm stepping outside of my box doing what I'm used to doing right um, because at for, first for a long time I thought that you know the only thing that I was supposed to do was music only mm -hmm. and uh, this just goes to show myself and other people that you can go beyond what you think that you know you should only be doing you can definitely right. step outside of your box but I am so grateful so wow. grateful Wow. Yeah. So it, it airs tomorrow on Lifetime. And of course, the entire world. I know everybody think we stopped for Corona. No, we stopped for the First Ladies of Gospel. We're going to be okay. <laughs> We're going to be tuned into Lifetime now. You are blessed to play the position of Twinkie Clark. And I can imagine yes. going in, you were like all the rest of us, just love the Clark sisters. And so you were just, you know, probably like, I love Twinkie Clark. But now being able to see her story and see how amazing she was, I can't even think of a word big enough. I'm sure your level of respect has gone to a whole nother level. Absolutely. For not just Twinkie, but now seeing or even being able to portray them, um, for their mom, you know, she had to endure a lot, you know, and because she was a woman, of course, yeah, but, <laughs> but they had to endure a lot, and uh, Twinkie, of course, had to endure a lot, too, um, with her personal life, um, being able to make decisions on her own, stepping outside of her box, and doing what was not the norm for her to do what they felt like she should be doing and uh, she finally got the opportunity to start kind of making some decisions on her own even though they were not um per se the best decisions all the time but at the end of the day you know some people want to be able to say i did this and um you know unfortunately she didn't get the opportunity to get all that love and excitement that she thought she would get but you know, to God be the glory, because look at them all now. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So you were a part of a group initially yourself. And so now portraying this role and seeing some of the things that the sisters went through, did you see some similarities or was it totally different? Of course, I, I did. I saw some similarities. Um, I can't really say as much as um, the Clark sisters because uh their upbringing was Kojic, so it was a bit more strict. And uh, with Baptist, it was, you know, a little bit more laid back. You know, you can wear a baseball cap, you know, and you're just chilling. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, you know, with them, they had a lot going on in church. And, and, and of course, they, they were faithful, and we were, we were faithful as well. Yeah. Um, but definitely, as far as the, um, the rivalry, and um though you love your your sister your business partner you still have like some moments where mm -hmm. you don't really see eye to eye and uh of course in this this film we we share that or they share that they give that information away and you know for years they haven't talked about what went on behind the scenes everybody's right. only assumed and right. uh so now you get the truth and uh with my group it was definitely a lot, but you know, some stuff is a little bit heavy for 
females to, to, to deal with, unfortunately. And, um, you know, sometimes breaking apart is what, what helps to continue the relationship. Yes. And, uh, you know, you just have to do what you got to do from time to time. <laughs> So here's one thing I know you had fun with because you guys got to spotlight a lot of the music. And I know yes. y'all were in there just singing and having a good time. We yes. saw some of the clips where you guys are practicing and it was like, they are killing it. So for you, <laughs> for you, Christina Bell, what was your yes. most favorite song that you got a chance to participate in? You know, honestly, it's so many of them because it, it's like basically a full album, but mm -hmm. uh, definitely at my top, the, the top two um, was one of the songs that Zayel covered, which was our breakout hit, was uh, in, Is My Living in Vain. So yes. that's definitely a, a top. And then uh, You Brought the Sunshine. Absolutely amazing songs. I mean, they just, Twinkie just captivated everything with those lyrics and the sound. You know, she made everything so different. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm at all of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> now, was there ever any pressure? Because I know a lot of times they may have come on set. Was there any pressure? Because you're like in front of them, portraying them. Mm -hmm. Was that ever kind of, kind of stressful for you? The pressure was not really from them. The pressure is definitely from, it, it, it's from for tomorrow. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> like, because here's the thing: you already know the Clark sisters fans are just like the beehive. Yes. If you don't do something right, yes, they coming after you. You know, <laughs> and everybody that that follows the Clark sisters, they're not all saved. You know what I'm yes. saying? So they don't really care. Um, but you know, that's where the pressure really comes in at. And uh, I'm learning how to not look at comments and. Um, because of course, you know, you get a few comments and you know, all that stuff, but I'm learning how to not focus on that because like you just said, you use the perfect word with, um, having all of the pressure on you. It's kind of like, you have to learn how to divide things and make them go this way or that way. What is it that you're going to choose to use? And what is it that you're going to just throw away and not worry about? So, right, right. And you know what, yeah. you made a good point because, I grew up in the Kojic denomination, and so we knew the Clark sisters and loved the Clark sisters, and I really didn't have any knowledge that they were so real respected and so loved outside of the gospel music community. And so right. to see so many people reposting it and posting the flyer and things like that that aren't yeah. from the gospel industry, it's like, wow, they were so revered more than we even, we just loved them because yeah. we could go to the convention and, oh, here come the Clark sisters, we finna have church. You know, we had no right. idea how much of a major impact impact that they were making so I gotta let ask you this and then I know you gotta go because everybody's pulling on you today but I, gotta, <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta ask you this for you as an artist having had that opportunity to play this role and then interact with them who are still doing it still living legends how would you say it helped you to to grow as an artist and now as you pursue your next things you'll have some of those things in the back of your mind Definitely slow down. Um, it, it's okay to not make um, quick decisions, rash decisions. It is very um, wise to make sure that when you make decisions that you're not making uh, faulty decisions that will affect your career as far as present and future. Because a lot of times as artists, you make such irrational decisions because something is in the front of you. And because you are presented with the thing and it doesn't necessarily have to always do with money or a car, anything tangible, but sometimes people just want to just receive something and they want to make, they want to feel like they've made a, a great impact or a decision um, by themselves, a business decision. But that's the reason why it's always important. Have people that are around to uh, be able to tell you that this is not good for you. Um, have an attorney. Uh, <laughs> so many, so many things that artists do not have. And it's important, especially if you want to be in the industry like that, like, you know, making crazy decisions. I mean, of course, at the time, it doesn't seem crazy, but you you have to definitely slow down and think, you know, am I making the right decision? So it's definitely helped me because I know that going to be more than the time past 
that I will have to slow down and think about if this is going to affect the people that are around me even. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, again, I say it over and over. I'm so proud of you. This is only the beginning. I know there is so much more on the way. So know that you have my continued prayers. Shout out to your entire team. They are always amazing when I need to. Yay! Out. Everybody is so wonderful. So much love out to you. And again, I will be cheering you on tomorrow as I Thank watch. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much, Carmina. You have yes. been the absolute best over the years. Thank you. Oh, very much. I really, really appreciate you. Bless you. Bless you. Well, have a beautiful day. I know you've got a whole bunch of press to do today, but <laughs> yes. try, to get, try to get some rest tonight so you can really take it all in tomorrow. <laughs> I got a big moment tomorrow. <laughs> Thank well, thank you, you so again. Much. Yes, thank you for checking in with us, y'all. This has been Inspirations with Carmina. We'll talk to you again soon.